It was 2006 when the Chevrolet HHR debuted, but the party did not last very long as production ceased five years later. However, the legend does live on. Well, this is our third annual, uh, we call it uh, Cruising Niagara. We have actually uh, changed the name of the show to the HHR Nationals. Uh, as you can see today, we got a great turnout. This is, uh, I think, our largest turnout yet. The HHR actually stands for High Heritage Roof. Uh, the car, if you look at it, is fashioned after the 49th Suburban. Five-year run, uh, unfortunately, uh, was one of the cars that kind of really helped GM, as far as I'm concerned, uh, really pull things out of the recession. The sales on it were terrific. Uh, it's terrific on gas. You go forever on a tank of fuel. Uh, they came with anywhere from a 2-liter to a 2.4. Uh, the turbo model is a 2-liter. Uh, go like tank. Thank you. Come on up and have a look. For a younger customer, for a new buyer, and, and, and the younger age groups, it's, a, it's an all-new vehicle. This architecture hasn't been on the road for ages, and it evokes that emotion, and so it's something totally new. There's nothing on it on the road right now that looks like it. Well, that is, you know, the old rivalry. It's uh, PT Cruiser versus Chevy HHR. Um, PT, they came along, and yeah, they outsold. I mean, there's, I don't know, a million of them out there. A lot of people said GM ripped off Chrysler when they came out with this one. Your thoughts on that whole controversy in both vehicles? Not really, just the same designer. Uh, Brian Nesbitt left Chrysler, went to GM. I like the PT because we got a convertible. HHR never did, but HHR got the panel truck, so they're ahead of us in that regard. And GM put a bit more attention to the vehicle for some time. Chrysler kind of let it die. It became an orphan vehicle far too soon. Are you surprised that both vehicles are not in production anymore? I am very surprised, especially well, both of them. They, they should have persevered. You see all kinds of similar body styles now from other makers, so what's up with GM and Chrysler? It just doesn't make sense to me. I'm very disappointed in them. From GM point of view, is this a failure or a success story? See, that's a real 50-50 shot. Um, you know, amongst most of the members of my club, they'll say it's a, a big success. As far as we're concerned, the, the car was a terrific, you know, terrific little vehicle. 